Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. It is February 3rd. Just give me a full length reading on TikTok and YouTube if I exceed the 10 minutes. Follow me on YouTube. Watch the remaining of the reading. Um, I have a couple announcements. If you guys are interested in uh, dating, finding, meeting new people, finding new people, um, check out Astrodipity for the month of February. It is free. It's an online dating site that uses your entire birth chart placement to align compatible partners. And you can also find out your specific astrology information on that site as well. So it's free for the month of February. So give it a try. Uh, I am still doing private readings. I've been getting messages asking if I'm doing private readings. I am still doing private readings. Reach out to me if you're interested. Um, I will send you the link to my Square Up site or you can find that on YouTube. I want to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, Angel, Saints, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. For the collective, current energy for the collective current energy for the collective. Wow. By the book that came out again. This came out yesterday and I shuffled this deck many, many times. You are living according to universal law. You are at a fork in the road or you are in currently in a fork in the road needing to make a decision. Feeling like maybe things are stuck or stagnant. But you're actually rebuilding and a new door is opening up with come to the edge. You're going to take a leap of faith in a new direction based on the decision you made either in the past or in the present moment. So let's just clarify these cards and see what comes out. Please clarify by the book, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors. By the book, by the book. So you're, you are operating in the energy of the King of Swords. You are really setting your boundaries. You're cutting out people, places, or things that don't serve you. Or you are calling in a King of Swords to co-create with you because I just got the Queen of Swords. So this is a masculine energy that is coming in to manifest, to plant good seeds with you, to co-create with you. This is someone that you're going to celebrate with. This could be hidden from you, but intuitively you could feel this new love that's coming in. It is your match. So thank you, Spirit, for realigning my reading for me. Yeah. So you're calling in a match to someone that is honest, someone that operates with integrity, someone that wants to work together with you to plant these seeds. And it's going to make you really happy. This is a celebratory energy. And the moon here, this is can talk about the unknown, not knowing that it's coming in. It can also talk about your intuition is telling you something is coming in. Someone is coming in. Okay, please clarify. Fork in the road. Fork in the road. Fork in the road. Wow. So you have a feminine energy here that the queen of cups in reverse this is a feminine that could have cancer pisces scorpio placement they don't have to this is an emotional manipulator this is a very immature insecure energy this person is being blocked from coming towards you or messing and meddling in your energy you have the ten of cups and you're being divinely guided okay so you have emotional fulfillment god is guiding you and protecting you from this queen of cups in reverse Yeah, so you've healed and what's coming in quick is a lot of enlightenment. This can be in the external uh, environment like the 3D, someone coming in and communicating some sort of truth to you. This can also be a download. So let's please clarify mending, mending. Yeah, you are moving away, um, embracing the energy of peace and dropping the burdens from the past mending yeah then we see a past life soul connection that you have already released still trying to hold on to your energy because they're in this competition with winning they think that they're competing with you you don't care because you're not competing with anyone 
you're not in competition with this person, yeah, they can't get over you. They can't move on. They can't. That's what it is. The truth is being exposed and now this person wants to come forward and apologize. Why do they want to apologize? Because they're feeling abandoned or rejected, but they know they did this to themselves. Please clarify, come to the edge. You're taking a brand new leap of faith with a new divine union. If you're already in a union, then this is stability being restored. This is justice for you. That's what this brand new leap of faith is bringing in, justice. Yeah. Oh, give me one more. Yeah, so whoever has been trying to bring chaos and conflict, they're trapped, feeling foolish, experiencing a tower because that's their justice. You, again, are being elevated. Wow, <laughs> look at this. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress energy. You are definitely being elevated. Uh, you have high spiritual ranking. You're very creative. You're independent, self-sufficient. You could be opening your own business, but a lot of financial stability and security is here. Wow. Okay, let's do some uh, initials or letters and signs. If your letter or sign does not come up, it does not mean the reading's not for you. It just means that someone needed extra clarification. And so the spiritual realm uses this way to give extra clarification. You have to use your discernment. If everything resonates, but the letters or the signs didn't come out, it doesn't mean it's not your, your reading. Just use your discernment, okay guys? So let's see who this reading is about. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Who is this reading about, please? Who's this reading about, please? All right, we have Scorpio, we have Libra, M, B, E, O, whoops, O, Leo, Virgo, N, W, Aries, D, Sag, P, G, C, L, T, Y, F, K, and Aquarius. All right, so I want to pull from the Alchemy Rising 888 deck and just see current energy for the collective. And then in part two, we will clarify with the Kipper and the Rider Waite. Energy for the collective, please. I don't, this is not your energy. We have some from your past introspection. They're, they're really reflecting back on things. They don't want to be judged. They're trying to be optimistic, but they're not attracting anything. Nothing is coming to fruition for whoever this is. This is the person that's attached. Yeah, they're losing financially. Abundance in reverse. Um, there's no love in the situation that they're in. You are co-creating with the divine because you went through a, a rebirth, an awakening. So you're in a higher vibration. Wow. Yeah, stability is being restored for you as well as justice. Justice is playing out because you remained in the energy of humility and you have been adaptable. You've just gone with the flow. You've trusted. Yeah, you focus on helping your community, helping other people. And you're very grounded, earthy energy. You don't have to have an earth sign placement, but you're very grounded, very connected. You're very disciplined. People view you as very mysterious. They're saying, get excited. Things are changing. Continue to be re fearless and resilient. You are the Phoenix rising. A natural born leader. Yeah, 
you have reflected on your past karmic cycles and lessons and that, that has put you in a more mindful energy. You use discernment when you make decisions going forward. Breathe, you are more focused on staying in a very peaceful energy um, because you have divine wisdom and you've evolved. You're not triggered easily. People can't trigger you. You see through illusion. You've learned your lesson and that's why you have infinite possibilities. You've learned your lesson. All right, so we'll go into part two, clarify these cards, and um, see what we get. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.